Hello and welcome to the SAP Business Objects Training. And uh, in this lesson, we will see that how we can create our first report using the universe. So let's begin. So the first thing that uh, we will have to do is to open the web intelligence. So I will double click here and uh, open the login screen. And uh, once the login screen will open, then you will have to enter the user ID and password. So once you have the login screen uh, ready, you will enter your user ID and password and click on start button. So that will allow you to log in into the SAP business objects, web intelligence, rich client. So once you have successfully logged in and uh, so in this lesson, we will see that how you can create a new document and a new report as well. So in order to do that, you will have to click here on the new button. And the first thing that you will have to do is to select the source of data for your report. And you will have here a screen that will allow you to select a data source. So in this lesson, we will be using the universe as the data source. So from the left side, you will have to select the SAP BI platform repository. And once you do that on the right side, you will select the universe and then you will click OK. So once you will select universe as the data source, you will have here the list of available universes and you will select one of the universe which will be available in your data uh, database server or any universe that has been set up by your system administrator. So on my system, I will select one of the universe and click OK. And uh, once I do that, the system will take me inside the selected universe. So this basically is the query panel and uh, this is the window where I will decide that which objects or which variables I want to display on my report. So this is the selected universe and then on my system for this universe there are two different tables. So one is the article lookup and the other one is the shop facts. So if I open one of the table so these are the different objects or variables and then on the second table these are the different objects or variables. So for example from the first table I want to display the first four variables on the report as columns. So what we will have to do is to select the variable that we want to display in the report and we need to shift that onto the result objects window. All right. So I will select the article ID and I will click on the arrow. So the article ID is now in the result objects window. Then I want to add the article label and I will do the same. And the next thing I need is the category. So I can also double click that will do the same thing for me. So double click the category and the category will be added here. And the last column I need on my report is the sale price. So I will double click the sale price as well. So for the time being, these are the four columns that I want to display on my report. And currently we will leave the query filter blank. We don't want to add any query. And other than that, if you have any other window, uh, for example, if you have any window about the data preview, or any window about the scope of analysis. So you can just leave whatever you have as default. Even we don't need to go through the scope of, scope of analysis right now, so we can just turn it off. So currently we just need to have the result objects and the variables or the objects that we want to display in our report. So once you have designed your query in the query panel, you will then click run and system will extract the data from the database and will add a report for you and within that report the system will add one uh, table 
and within the table the system is displaying here the four columns so these are the objects or the variables that we had selected in the query panel so that is the first report that you have just created and uh, again just four columns and uh, the, the system has automatically created or added a new report so remember uh, from the home screen we clicked on creating a new document so at the top we have here this new document one and within this new document one we have report number one which means that in a single document you can have multiple reports you can have report one two three and so on so we will see in the coming lessons that how to add multiple reports in the same document so this is the first lesson where we have seen that how to create a report using the universe as the database and then in the next videos we will see that how to update the, the existing query or how to update the existing reports so that is the end of the first lesson